1991 was a magical time for gaming. There were eight new bits. Eight whole bits letting you do shinier and shinier games. So franchise after franchise upgraded itself onto the Super Famicom, getting a little bit more definition on those sprites and richer backgrounds. So what's Super Wagyan Land's greatest innovation? Blocky, blown out mosaics. Apparently that's a can wearing boxing gloves running down the street. I have no idea why it is thus, only that determining what's going on through all that blockiness is apparently necessary to get through some of the boss battles in this game. And I'm certain there's some comment to be made about this game as a preparatory exercise, given Japan's policies on adult video, but that'll be left as an exercise for the reader. If some of these stages, designs, or concepts seem a bit too familiar, well, yeah. Super Wagyan Land plays kinda like Wagyan Land's 1 and 2 combined, thrown into a blender, mixed with some blue score orbs just for kicks, and set to puree then dusted with a few hostages. Yes, instead of just popping up occasionally to deliver today's Deus Ex Machina weapon, the entire Wagyan species, or whatever they are, appear at regular intervals as captives who need to be freed by fighting a boss in some manner of challenge. Wagyan Land 2's word chains and concentration bouts and number chases make their triumphant 16-bit debut alongside these mosaic monstrosities I mentioned earlier because this armadillo-looking thing just had to drag his tire through some ruins. I blame him. Succeed in such a challenge and you'll save one of the Wagyans, which normally can be found one to a stage or in small hidden pocket dimensions that have to be blown open by shouting at it quite a lot. Man, it feels a lot like Mickey Mouse Capade for whatever reason. Just less Hudson-y. Ultimately though, Super Wagyan Land takes advantage of its technical capacity to develop the Wagyan experience. New paradigms are introduced, like auto-scrolling sections where you're riding a log down a river, or... rafting. I had no idea that robotic dinosaurs were adept at rafting. But there's a lot more that 16 bits can do, it's still only 1991. The door is wide open, and on the other side is a hell of a lot of shouting. But before the other few bits are explored, Namco actually revisit the old Famicom for Wagyan Land 3 and attempt to take this expansion and make it fit into a big old swan song for Nintendo's little box that could. With a cat challenging you to word games, because that's how we rolled in 91. Go Pirates. Thanks, as is standard for the Wagyan series, go out to Felicity in Worcestershire, who had a heck of a lot of these games.